Hi everyone, I'm Sri Lakshmi, and recently I have been accepted into Clemson University to do my PhD degree. Hi, my name is Sona Baiju. I'm also admitted to Clemson University to do my PhD degree in physics. Hello, my name is Anishwara. I'm admitted to Clemson University to do my PhD in physics. Yeah, uh, today, uh, three of us are together right now. Uh, we'll be sharing uh, our experience uh, in the US visa interview at the Chennai Consulate. Uh, so we had a uh, um, biometric schedule on 25th June, and we had a visa, US visa interview uh, on June 27th at the Chennai Consulate. Actually, uh, me and Sri Lakshmi, we both had our uh, biometrics at uh, 2.30 p.m. And for Anashura, mm -hmm. it is at 3.30. Uh, so um, for biometrics, we have to reach uh, 30 minutes earlier from our time slot. So we just reached a little bit earlier. Uh, we just reached there at 1.30. And uh, for each time slot, um, uh, we have to form a queue. So for 2.30 uh, slot, uh, the queue will start on... I think on 2 p.m. and all. So um, when the queue started, we just joined that queue and um, they just uh, enter our, uh, they just verify our visa information paper, visa appointment confirmation paper and let us in. And me and Sri Lakshmi, we both entered um, together to that uh, biometric center. At that biometric center, we have to bring our passport, confirmation letter and DS-160. Uh, after that, initially, they will check our DS-160. There is a barcode. They will verify that. And then after that, we will enter into a security check-in that uh, we can wear analog watch. It's not a problem. Uh, but they will uh, say us to keep our mobile phones uh, in a locker, I think. Then after that, they will uh, check our uh, confirmation letter thoroughly. Then after that, in another section, they will check our... Uh, passport uh, roughly and they will uh, keep a slip at the back of that it's mandatory that we just doesn't need to tear that until we reach back India yes um, and after they put the slip on the passport uh, they asked to move uh, in, into another counter and there uh, we had to verify our full name and date of birth and after that um, we have to uh, give the impression of our four fingers, both left and right hand, and also the thumb impression. And uh, then uh, we have to take a photograph. So um, I think dark colored clothing is preferred because the background is white. So uh, it's good to wear dark colored clothes. So I think that, that was the procedure at the biometric center. Then we are asked to leave. Yeah, there is um, yeah. there is no dress you code and all. Around um, yeah, that is not a uh, dress code. Yeah. Dress code and all. Just and be your, uh, around half an hour. Yeah. Yes. Just be something comfortable. Like half an hour. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we just uh, came back by um, 2.45 um, or something. Uh, that's it. Yes. It was yes. pretty simple. Um, no need to be panic and all. Just a normal procedure. Just taking our thumb impression and taking a photo. That's it. And, and uh, uh, they will provide a seal in our DS 160, and yeah. we have to bring yeah. that uh, DS 160 during our design yeah. interview time. Design interview, right? Yeah. I think biometrics is a simple process. Uh, the next yeah. next step is uh, the visa interview. Yeah, yeah. That was on uh, 27th June. Uh, for uh, me and Sri Lakshmi, the appointment time was on 9:30 a.m., and for Anishwara, it is 11. Uh, so we just hmm. reached at um I think eight thirty or before eight thirty. Yes. Yeah. There was we a reached, long uh, queue before yeah. the conflict. Yeah. Yes. Um, we just got into that queue, and uh, the queue was moving pretty fast. So um, actually, our uh, time of appointment was nine thirty, but we just uh, came back uh, outside came out. that from that. Yeah. Yeah. Or nine thirty. We completed the interview and we just came out of the consulate. Uh, and around 9 30 yeah. yeah at at the entrance of that consulate uh, we have a security check and um, uh, mobile phones no electronic devices are allowed so um uh, and we there's a, a, a mask 
Yeah, yeah. mask was really necessary. And that was a regular security check was there. From there, we just uh, go into another building where the interview was going on. And we have to mm -hmm. uh, join a queue. And from that queue, uh, some of the, so many persons are there to uh, lead us to that counter. So we just go into the respective counters where the uh, interview is going on. So, um, and there is a, no. uh, there is an instruction code. They they have written no. that you have to keep your passport and I twenty in your hand. Yeah. Uh, no, so the that are the two receipt. mandatory documents. Uh, and also, yes. civics yeah. receipt is also necessary. These three ah, things yes, are yes. the yes. more important. Yeah. Yeah. Then now now we will yeah. uh, share our visa experience <clears throat> interview experience um uh, individually. So one by one. Sri Lakshmi. Yeah. yeah, Sri Lakshmi. Yes. Say your yeah, uh, for me, uh, I was really nervous before <laughs> before the interview. I was really nervous. Um, actually, I, I saw a lot of videos, uh, and I think in the in YouTube there are a lot of videos for MS yeah. students. But yeah, the like for PhD students, uh, I don't really <laughs> recommend those videos. Um, yes. I saw, I think we all uh, we all saw the videos of. Uh, I mean, let's do GRE platform. Uh, mostly the PhD yes. students, uh, yeah, they were talking about their US visa experience that was really motivating. Uh, yeah, and very also, informative also. Correct information. I yes. think that videos gave yes. us the correct information about visa correct interview and all. Got, yes. For especially yes. PhD, PhD students. PhD yeah. students, right. And also, uh, I think on 25th, uh, Dr. Narendra Perma said uh, yeah. he gave us a mock session. Mock interview. Yeah. Yeah, that was really, also, yeah, that was really helpful. Yeah, and also before yes. that, uh, also, he just gave a list of questions about uh, 12 or 13 20 questions. 20 questions were there. Uh, yeah, 20 questions yeah, were 20. there. So uh, the most prop, most possible questions on uh, interview. So we just prepared those answers and all. That's it. It He was really yes. helpful in that visa experience yeah. and all. His suggestions were uh, really valuable. Uh, so talking about my experience uh, with the visa officer, I just greeted her. Uh, the visa officer was a lady and I greeted her. I said, good morning, ma'am. And she was very polite and uh, she greeted me back. And uh, then she asked me to pass my I-20 and the passport. I just gave her uh, the passport and I-20 and uh, he went, uh, she uh, went to the I-20 thoroughly and she was like, oh, Clemson University uh, and a doctorate in physics. And I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, she asked me like, is it, oh, it is fully funded. She didn't ask me, is it fully funded? She told that, oh, it is fully funded. And I, I said, yes, it is fully funded. Uh, and then um, she asked me like, what in physics, which uh, field you want to uh, study? What is your research interest? I said I, about my research interest in, in just one sentence. I think that's enough. Uh, long answers are not um, are not advice, you know. So I just told uh, my research interest in one sentence, and she told, "Oh, it's great." Uh, you know, she was very excited. <laughs> she said, "Oh, it's wonderful!" Like your parents must be, must be so proud, and I felt really comfortable. Uh, and the next question she um, asked me that, um, yeah, uh, when did you complete your master's? I told her that uh, I completed my master's in 2022. And she said, oh, cool. Uh, okay, congratulations, your visa is approved. And then she told me to, um, uh, to take my um, four fingers impression, my right hand, I took on right. So after that, I just, uh, said thank you ma'am and I just she asked me to leave it was that simple it was not at all <laughs> it's not it was not at all uh, like hectic it was so simple um, like my uh, like at that time I thought like oh I was nervous for nothing <laughs> you know so yeah it was a really nice experience for me uh, now Anashira will uh, tell you her experience Okay. Uh, when I enter that counter, there was a uh, visa officer. Uh, he just asked my passport, then my I-20. Then they will check it. 
they will understand that about our university our funding all our details he just uh, told him, himself that clemson university then doctorate in physics then he just asked me that uh, did you done your masters in physics so i said yes mm, then after that uh, he will uh, he asked me uh, about my research uh, that i was supposed to do there uh, then i just explained it in one line don't use any technical term in that uh, uh, they will be uh, enough uh, to tell it in a simple line uh, in which uh, uh, it contain only simple uh, not very What? scientific words in that so uh, it was so uh, within a limited time interval he just uh, asked me to keep my uh, fingerprint uh, to take uh, took my fingerprint and after that he told that uh, my visa is approved then i told thank you sir then i, then I uh, leave that area that's all i was also uh, pretty nervous for my visa interview um, and uh, uh, my visa officer was a was an american officer and first she just greeted me and asked my, asked for my passport and i20 document then um, by verifying my i20 document uh, she asked that you got uh, admitted to clemson university right and then i said yes ma'am then then she asked me how many universities did you apply actually i applied for uh, 10 universities but um, i didn't say 10 universities name i just uh, mentioned uh, four or five and um, actually it was a pretty normal conversation for me it was very simple she just made me more comfortable in speaking with her and then she asked about uh, my research in area like what are you planning to do in clemson then i said that i'm planning uh, to do um, uh, space weather detection using numerical modeling that's it i just um, say in one sentence my answer then she said that it was uh, she said uh, cool uh, see she said that and then she asked me that about my funding like is it uh, enough for all your is it cover all your tuition fees and all that's how she asked me then i said yes ma'am it will cover all my fees my expenses and that's it and then she asked me to uh, put my right four uh, fingers on that fingers uh, fingerprint scanner and uh, then said that uh, your visa is approved congratulations then i said thank you ma'am have a nice day that's it and um, i think we we just worried for nothing <laughs> because it was pretty simple yeah okay. yes my visa officer also asked that if my program is fully funded i just forgot it to yes. mention yes so it was pretty simple uh, no need to um, worry about our visa interview and all and for and i didn't see any rejections uh, there in chennai uh, we didn't see any yeah, yeah. everyone was happy especially for phd i think they doesn't reject any applicants yeah. is it is a fully yeah. funded program and uh, is it a good university then I, i i also don't think that they will reject our visa and yes. i think all the visa officers also very cooperative they just listen very carefully and if we had made any mistake also they just say that they just they, they were very calm and composed uh, i saw that so um, don't need to worry about and all and um, i think yes. dress code just wear a, a light color dress that's it Yeah, like we, uh, don't uh, yeah, don't be too flashy yeah mm. yeah just to be formal informal. is fine mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. i so, end with uh, around 10 minutes uh ah in the yeah. queue we have to wait in but we was like one to two minutes ah, one to two minutes yeah. yeah they didn't even ask my civic fee received also <laughs> they just yeah. asked my yeah. i20 only yeah yes yeah we bought i mean we carried all the documents documents <laughs> but uh, every, it, like everyone should carry all the documents you know yeah in case <laughs> yeah. if they in ask case, yeah. uh, we have to be prepared so just carry all that and don't be nervous yes. yeah yeah confidence is the key yeah yes give all your answers that's with confidence that's it and be precise and we have to thank 
Yeah. yeah. And we are, we actually thank uh, Dr. Parmar sir and uh, Let's Do GRE platform for making our dream uh, come true. Yeah. Um, he was very yeah. helpful in uh, our visa yeah. interview yeah. preparation uh, and our PhD. Okay. Thank yeah, you. From our initial to our final stage, he will guide us. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, uh, to That's all it. the PhD students out there who are going to uh, attend the US visa interview, uh, just don't worry. Be pleasant and uh, with a positive attitude, just go there uh, and you'll get the visa. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Yes. And we realized <laughs> it right <laughs> like on 27th, actually. Okay. Yeah. And uh, all the best for all the PhD uh, uh, aspirants. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. All the best. Thank <laughs> you.